Today we're going to take our farm linked menu from Real Time Farms and we're going to embed it on our Facebook page, which is totally awesome. And the way we're going to do that is on our Facebook page, we're going to click on search and we're going to type, start typing in static HTML iframe tabs. And the first one that comes up is the one that we want because it works really well. We're going to click on get the app. And if you're the admin on more than one page, it's going to ask you which page to add it to, and you're going to check the name of the restaurant, and you're going to add it. And then it doesn't tell you, but it's right here, the welcome with the star. So you're going to click on the welcome with the star, and it's going to come up the space where you're going to be um, pasting in the HTML. And we're going to get the HTML if we go up here to our dashboard for our restaurant. This is Grove's dashboard. Um, they are a restaurant in Michigan and they are the first ones that shared with us that you could do this. So um, this is their menu and I wanted to give them a shout out because it was so cool that they showed us how to do this. And basically I've changed the color because I like purple. I've changed it, the font to Garamond so that's all set. I've updated so it looks like this is what I want it to look like. So I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to paste it right here. So for fans only, they're going to be able to see it. And for everybody else, they're going to be able to see it. And I'm going to click Save Changes. And then I'm going to click Preview so I know what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. So as you can see, every item that's farm linked back to a farm, the name of the farm pops up. And um, if I were to click through, it would take me to the farm page, which I'm not going to do right now, but it would. But what I am going to do right now is at the moment, this menu is called welcome, which I think is a little confusing. So we're going to change that. And the way that we're going to change that is we're going to go to um, use Facebook as the restaurant page, which is going to give me access to the admin edit function. So I'm going to go over here to click edit. And I'm going to go to the apps over here on the left hand side, and I'm going to scroll down to where it says static HTML. I'm going to edit the setting and I'm going to change the tab name to restaurant menu and I'm going to click save and I'm going to click OK. So now when I go back to the restaurant um, and I look, it's going to have it be restaurant menu and that's what we're going to click on and people will be able to see. Now because this is my page, what's going to show up is still the HTML code. Now this is a good place to be if you want to do more bells and whistles. For example, up here if you click on the yellow band where it says FAQ and Help Center, if you want to um, add an image, if you want to have more than one tab, say for example you have more than one restaurant and you want to put more information in there, that's pretty cool. If you don't like the scroll, balls, scroll bars, if you think they're kind of annoying, then you can get rid of them here. All sorts of good options. This is a really, really cool um, functionality and it's really exciting that we found this and we're so happy to share and thank you so much for using real-time farms and thank you for embedding your menu